What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today we are going to do another episode of Awesome Tools Under 30 Bucks. This tool here is under $10. This is the Stud Buddy from uh, Home Depot is where I bought it. Um, you can get it on Amazon, you can get it all over the world, probably wherever. Um, this is a very simple design uh, and that's kind of what I, uh, I like about it. Um, it literally is a plastic piece that encases two magnets. I mean, it, it's very simple. It works. It's um, it's kind of impressive. I've been playing around with it, and uh, that's why I decided to uh, go ahead and make a video about it. So, I usually am an electronic guy. I liked my zircon, um, but too often do I run up to grab my zircon, and the, the dang batteries are dead. It's like how how. These go through nine volts like I've never seen before. Um, I don't know what goes on. There's a constant drain on this thing. Like literally only works when you hit the button, but yet I can't leave it for a week or two or the nine volt is dead. You gotta be kidding me. So this is a very good alternative to this. Um, you don't wanna keep it around your metal plate in your head or uh, you know your credit cards or anything like that uh, because it is a magnet. But let's see how it works on the wall. I've already tested it uh, behind the scenes, but this thing is pretty impressive. So obviously this is to try to figure out where your nails or screws are in your studs um, that are holding your drywall to, to your studs. So, uh, you know, it couldn't get any simpler than that. Um, let me see, let me show you. It basically tells you in the manual to go in a zigzag pattern. By manual, I, I mean back of the package because it is that simple. So a zigzag pattern, I will warn you, this is kind of a rough plastic back. I'm definitely going to put some tape on here in the future to let it glide over the wall without marring your paint. So uh, you zigzag across the wall and it literally kind of yanks it out of your hand. There it is right there. So there's my screw right there. Um, it centers itself on the screw. I wanted to figure that out before I made a video about it. Um, I went outside to the deck and it, the magnet centers right over the screw. So wherever the middle line of your stud buddy is, that's where your stud is, um, theoretically. If your screw is put at an angle, uh, best of luck. Um, let's see how uh, it you know, measures up against the zircon. So I haven't done this comparison yet. I'm kind of anxious to see if these are going to be, you know, right on the money with each other or the zircon lies or the stud buddy lies. So let's check it out right now. All right. So this zircon stopped about about half an inch before the center of where the stud buddy is. So is the zircon lying or is the stud buddy lying? Um, I'm not gonna open up my wall and tear the piece of drywall out for this video. Sorry, not gonna happen. So um, let's check another screw here down the stud. Okay, so here's another one. Let's make sure it's on center. Too easy, let's try it again. Okay, so that one was even further off. That one's probably on the other side of the stud. If this was in the, uh, if this was the center of the stud, that would be completely off the stud. Now, I will be honest with you, the zircon has led me astray before. Um, it is not all that accurate. So that's why I'm even more excited about offering a $10 option for you because it doesn't matter if you throw this in your toolbox or throw it around and you really don't care about it. You don't have to worry about protecting this. This is no electronics. You don't have to worry about dropping it. You don't have to worry about treating it poorly. Um, it's literally just a magnet. Yes, you could buy a magnet in the, in the magnet aisle at Home Depot and do the exact same thing. Why don't you? Well, they package it in a different way and you're excited about buying it just like I was. So um, I would definitely recommend this other than putting tape on it. It really isn't that big of a deal. Um, put some tape on it to protect that paint and I think it will withstand the test of time um, to be a good uh, tool in your arsenal aka your toolbox or tool bag, whatever it is that you do, um, I, I think this is a great option. Uh, I do not have any metal studs to test this on, sorry not sorry, um, but maybe in the future we'll uh, you know, outfit a little wall where we can test things like that. So I hope to see you guys subscribe. What this will do for you is it will bring you back for more awesome content like this, uh, more tools, more ideas, more projects, more man stuff, 
and uh, I hope to see you around the channel. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. Uh, communicate with me in the comments below, and as always, we'll see you guys in the next video.